Oh. Didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Uh... Who are you? Let her go. Oh, snap! He's a good shot. Ron, don't hang him out to dry. What? what exactly does this doctor know? That's it. Bag him and tag him. Looks clear. Stand down. Garrus. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Yeah, it was a nice shot as well. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle. Lucky? Oh, she's probably not what she wants to hear. No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Uh, who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The Quarian? Fist. Fist? I'm hearing a lot about this fist. But why wouldn't they want to tell you telling Garrus about this Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Clearly she thought the information she had was worth his attention. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have evidence on him, then, of some kind. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. The Quarians she must be able created to link the, Saren Geth. To the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. If this has a, it doesn't mean he's out of our reach. It just means we have to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Why do you hate Saren exactly? You say he, he rubs you the wrong way. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. All right, you've made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Oh, yeah. I think yeah, I've passed we saw him. him in the bar. We look. If there's going to be a fight, he's absolutely somebody we want on our side. We could use him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. Oh, we're heading there next. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay, so... Ah, so... Combat strength. We could take Ashley. She's got great combat strength. And we can take Garrus, too. Because he... He seems... Better offensive-wise than... Caden. He does have biotic powers. We'll go with this for now. And you're going to be all right, Michelle? I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Uh, well, I might need supplies. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Oh? Of course. Okay, I thought you might just give me some straight-up rewards, but uh, do I have any junk? Oh, this is my stuff. Is it? Oh, no, this is the buy. What about the sell? Ah, here we go. I'm going to keep all this for now, just until I have a better idea of what's what. Is there anything else around here I should know about? 
Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, can I ask you a personal question? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Hey, it's our ship's doctor's idea of fun. But, very well. I'll take my leave. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. You stay safe. If you ever get into trouble again... Ooh. Replenish Medigel. I'll keep an eye out for those. Those red curved machines. Right. Garrus, fall in. I've got the lead on this. Now, CSEC Security, the academy, was just down here. Public Extranet Terminal. Hmm, it's like some sort of computer. Uh, Officer Lang? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? You have an incredibly I saw the thick monument neck. At they got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's a it's an honor pleasure to meet, to meet you. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Uh, possibly. Uh, what can you tell me about the Citadel? How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. I don't think I'm going to learn anything too useful from this guy, but I... Well, it's nice to meet you. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. And you. Uh, Kaiden actually pointed us in the direction of... There was a, a gambling terminal that had been hacked. Wired somewhere else in the network. Right, CSEC, CSEC. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving CSEC? Fighting a rogue spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. True enough. I'd rather be fighting what? than trusted to somebody else. You left CSEC? Have you gone rogue? Have I just taken in a rogue officer from CSEC? Oh, right, no. The less I know, the better. You must be Rex. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I, I don't think you, you could try. arrest him. I'd like to see him try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? Uh, you will. My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. What he said. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Well, what can I say? I like that saying. I think we're going to get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Ah, oh, okay. If I take Garrus and Rex, that gives me a decent combat strength. Quite a strong combat, uh, technical strength, rather. And it gives me some biotics. And, to be honest, I wasn't feeling Ashley or Kaiden. Oh, you really are a big guy. But we were also here for a little errand I have to stop by. I hope you don't mind, Rex. It might be this way. Okay, you need to speak to somebody about an operative called... Jenna. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Certainly. 
No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? <sighs> I... I know. I know where this is going. I basically... Well, I very almost did blow her cover, your agent's cover. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. Well, you weren't even I there. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Well, I saw that. Is, is it worth the risk, though? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Chalik. It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Oh, doesn't look like I can access these dialogue options. All right, what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What exactly makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These Just give the criminals an advantage we can't afford to difficult. let them keep. And I can talk to this Jax for you. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Okay. Can't tip off Jax because I'll just scalp the whole operation. Okay. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Thank you. All right, well, looks like we've got to do that to keep an eye on Jenna. Is this another way out? Oh, I don't think it is. Excuse me. Oh, no, no. It's fine. I'm with Garrus. I've got Garrus with me. Uh... Tracking. What about these tracking terminals? All right, let's just keep moving. Anything I should... Is there anything in here, Garrus? Okay, apparently not. Uh, that doesn't look like... Oh, nope. Sorry. Yep, let's not pull a gun out in the police station. I'm gonna make a lot of... Officers with guns very twitchy. Right, well, we've picked up Rex. We should head back to the lower wards. Seems like we've got more than one job to do down there. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. <clears throat> uh, move out. I guess we head back to the Chores Den. That seems to be where we're going to find our... Our man, the Fist. How exactly did I get there again? Uh, what the hell's going on here? You okay, buddy? You seem to have bounced back. Yeah, what is it? What the hell was that? You cheat? Seems the owner didn't like the way you played their games. Dorian didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. I know Dorian. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. I'm... that sounds like it's cheating. Explain. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Then why... why do you do it? 
Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. That, that's still cheating. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. Oh. I just need a few more wins recorded. I'm not going to help you cheat. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. I don't even gamble. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Bye. It's not what I this, this is totally not where I want to be. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a taxi again. Okay. We're not being shot at this time. That's a good sign. Last time I came down here, you two, I got shot at. Thankfully, I had Ashley and. Looks like it shut down. Fist knows we're coming. All right, battle stations, you two. Let's see what you guys can do. God, I hope Jenna got the hell out of here. Garrus, Rex, get in there. That's not a good place to take cover. You ain't got nothing on me, buddy. Ah! How do you even get up there? Rex? Not down. Oh my word, Krogans are tough to go down. Rex, I kinda need you in here, buddy. Right, stay close. Get an angle, Garrus. Room's clear. We got them all, Shepard. Right. On to the next one. Stop oh. right there. Don't come any closer. Right. Oh, and here I thought you wanted to talk. Go on, pop your head up for me. Garrus, Rex. Oh. Come on, Rex, you wanted him. Go, go, go. Oh. oh, I don't care for that. Rex, get in cover. I'm healing just yet. How do I... Can I heal you, Rex? You've got sabotage. Garrus, get in there. Oh, that's one turret. I surrender. Well, that's the smartest thing you've done all day. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Where did she Be go? No use to you now. Let me kill him. You're wait, not even holding wait, a gun, Rex. I don't Rex. know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. 
Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Uh, we'd better. Rex is yours. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. <sighs> well, this is what we get for bringing a bounty hunter along. He certainly deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. You have anything good in his hideout, though? Optical storage disk, a wall safe. Your manual overrides. Oh. There we go. High caliber barrel. Let's take all this for now. Like to equipment. I've recovered items. I've recovered a lot of items. Now, my pistol. Can I even unequip? Maybe I need to be on the ship to unequip. Uh, I have a high caliber barrel. Less heat absorption, slower rate of fire, but more damage. We will give it a go. We can always take it off if we don't like it. How are we on armor? That's my default armor. Assassin 2. Less shield, no protection. Yeah, that's not good armor. But Rex, can you wear... Oh, it's much better than what you've already got. Oh, sorry, rather, what you've already got is much better than that. Right, let's move out, you two. Oh, I didn't realize we were on a timer, otherwise I wouldn't have hung around. All right, guys. On me. Okay. We don't have any time to lose. Go, go, go. You two finish that one up. Perimeter clear. And that was the den. Where was the alley? up here? No, it's got to have been down there. The door won't open, though. Do we have to go around? Sugar. Let's quickly check the map. Okay, she's dead ahead. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? Ugh. No way. The deal's off. He's got a smart head on her shoulders. Oh! Snap! Right, back her up, everyone. Shut him down. Ah. Are we gonna just let him walk through us? Oh, my gun's overloaded. They're frozen. Oh. Okay, I definitely need a backup weapon. How's that quarian looking? How's Ga Garrus? Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. I took care of him. How how are you? You okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. I saw. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Uh, I'm I'm with the Alliance. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life, but not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. We'll be able to offer her some protection at the very least. 
You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? I mean, he's probably right to be angry. But just doing my job, sir. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Uh, she has a yeah. name. Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Pilgrimage? How old are you exactly? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. And something of value, what could that be defined as? What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. That's... a little bit hardcore in a way, but please continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Uh, is that true then, Tally? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. The conduit? That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. We've got him, but why is the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Was he not? Well, I know he had gas. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. The Reapers? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Somehow it sounds familiar. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. does somehow, but... It's true. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. We can't not tell them, but will they even believe it? They scarcely believed us that Saren went rogue. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your pilgrimage? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. I suppose finding out how the Geth are wrapped up in this is probably an 
you know, important to your race too. Very well, join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, they're going to pick my squad again? Tally all oh, That's a lot of tech. I'm not going to take Rex to meet the council. Let's take Garrus. He's part of CSEC. He, he's an officer on the Citadel. He can help vouch. And Tally, she was the one who found the evidence in the first place. We'll take these two with us. Very well, you two. Let's move. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. How many of your people are there, I wonder? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Um, a, a moment? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Uh, I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? I have a feeling I might know why if she was put on a giant spike. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll... I'm not going to promise them anything, but I'll find out what's going on. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. I understand. The expensive bar? If we see it on the way, we'll we'll check in, but we need to get to the tower. This can't wait. We've proved Saren's rogue. Time is of the essence. There's no way the council can ignore us this time. I hope not. Days as a specter are done. If the evidence is worth trying to kill me for, I hope it is sufficient to motivate the council. You'd certainly hope so. Surely can't ignore the weight of the evidence when they try to kill you over it. Otherwise, they'd have simply dismissed it as a rumor. What's happening here, Corbin? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. What were you doing with that keeper? Um, yes, is there something you want? Are you following the Keepers around? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't waste our time. I can see the lie on your face, Solarian. Oh, it doesn't be around the I, bush. Uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. And why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Uh, why the secrecy in about this? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Um, I'm curious. What can I do? I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Uh, I'm a bit of a badass, but I'm with the Alliance. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Ooh. Now you're speaking my language. What are you... Why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Interesting. Well, you've got it. I'll send you what I can. I should get going, then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Anderson, you're already here. Let's go. go 
Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch Benezia? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested I'm a formidable in the Reapers. Foe for us. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. And Saren wants to bring them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet, but whatever it is, it's trouble. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. Those are good questions, but you doubted me before, and look where that got you. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. But... I've seen them in my vision. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! You tell him. The fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Then... you'll do nothing. How many people live on these planets? Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador. There is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm... I'm ready, and it's the best solution. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. I promise not to screw this up like I did that other lady's operation. I wish all these people would stop staring though. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. 
well, thank you and all, but what happens now then? What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Seren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. And roger that, but do we have any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC oh. Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. I like the Anderson, sound of that. Come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up 